1931, a homing pigeon flew 7,200 miles from Arras in France to its home loft in Saigon, Vietnam in a span of 24 days. This became the longest recorded flight made by a homing pigeon. Remarkably, not all birds have the ability to fly back to its home's location. Only the homing pigeon, a member of the avian family Colomidae has the unique ability to home even at distances of more than a thousand miles. This remarkable character of the homing pigeon can be attributed to their ability to read magnetic fields, according to a 1998 article by Michael M. Walker published in the Journal of Theoretical Biology. They may also be able to map their location through sight, as reported by Richard P. Mann and team in a 2014 article published in Biology Letters, or perhaps through infrasound, as postulated by Jonathan Hagstrom in a 2013 article in the Journal of Experimental Biology. Perhaps this may occur through the building of a knowledge base across generations, a trait that only humans and a few other primates share as written by Takao Sasaki and Dora Bird in the April 2017 edition of Nature Communications. It is for these reasons that these homing pigeons are used as messengers during the World War, and eventually, kept, trained and developed to be prized sky athletes. Racing pigeons competing in international races, like one loft race and one of the most famous of which is the annual Barcelona International Race participated by many individuals, even the Queen of England and European countries, every first week of July. The Barcelona International Race is one of the longest races in pigeon racing world with distances covering up to 900 miles. This year a total of 16,595 pigeons competing pigeons were released from Barcelona. Pigeon Race in the Philippines In the Philippines, the start of pigeon racing could be attributed to the club races organized by General Conrad of the U.S. Army Signal Corps through the Homing Pigeon Club around the mid-1930s. They started with the use of stocky and reliable homing pigeons brought by American GIs. One of the avid fanciers to join these races was Jose Montilla. Philippine Homing Club Incorporated is the oldest and most prestigious pigeon racing club in the country. The club was formed 1958 and formally registered in 1960. When the war broke out, races were discontinued and the pigeons were distributed to the members of the club. After the war, Montilla was able to secure pigeons from the U.S. Signal Corps when they left the country in the 1950s. Another remarkable man was Eulogio Kua who imported racing pigeons from the U.S., Belgium and France during the period of 1945 to 1957, improving the bloodlines of the racing pigeons in the country. In 1958, the Philippine Homing Pigeon, Inc., PHA, was formed by Jose Montilla, Eulogio Kua, Celso M. Estrella, Salvador Gorostiza, Antonio D. Tenco, Ben Araneta, Peter Yap, Cam Tenghui, Perfecto Domingo, Nick Bustamante, Tony D., and Elias Hechenova. These men pooled their resources and made use of PNR railways to race pigeons in Gumaca, Naga, and Legaspi. In 1960, they took the northern route using buses and three years later, tried the Bosco, Baton's Lap. Through the efforts of Cam Tenghui who contacted land surveyors, accurate distances between release points and lofts were measured. Eventually, PHA got hold of second-hand clocks from Belgium which the members bought for cheap prices. The race is on. From the 1960s to the present, the pigeon racing as a sport continued its steady development. Aside from the PHA pioneers, many remarkable fanciers rose to gain popularity and respect because of their sportsman attitude and records. Among these remarkable pigeon racing sportsmen are Tommy De Vera, Peter C., Cam Tiang Seng, popularly called Uncle Cha, the late Paul Ung, Victor Lim, Jimmy Lim and Nelson Kua. Pigeon Race in the Philippines had two main racing season which are called North Derby and South Derby, and the special race every summer called Summer Race. Not all clubs do the Summer Race. For the Summer Race, clubs can choose which location will they use either North or South area with the same or shortened race stages. The North Derby is flown between the rainy months of July to November including the training stages, but the proper race starts from month of October to December depends on the weather conditions and on club schedule. It is called North Derby as birds fly the northern route, 
from the first lap with 300 kilometers in the mountainous area of Nuva Vizcaya to the last lap that could go as far as Santa Ana in Cagayan or Batanes Island. The birds fly through strong rains and wind and have to maneuver along mountainous trails. The South Derby, like its name, takes the south route from Quezon to as far as Leyte. Depending on club schedule, the training and races take place between the months of December to March. The birds have to fly against strong side winds and heat, and sometimes intense rains along their path. The birds also have to fly across the seas, from one island to another. South races are considered one of the hardest races in the Philippines because of these challenges faced by the pigeons. Aside from these two derbies is the Peter Yap Cup, also known as the MacArthur National Race, which happens annually around third week of March. It was started in 2011. It is organized by the PHA with the goal of having all pigeon clubs, be it small or big, race all together in one dream race. By far, this race is considered the most prestigious and the hardest of all races because of the participation of the big names in the sport and likewise because of the big number of participants. This year alone, for the 2020-2021 race season, Approximately 2,000 ring band were issued and only 455 birds engaged or competed in the prestigious MacArthur National Race. During trainings and qualifying stages, pigeons are unable to return home. It is a brutal 600-kilometer gauntlet during which competitors face searing heat, wild seas, vicious predators, and the threat of kidnapping. Only 1 in 10 will finish. This is the MacArthur competition the Philippines' longest homing pigeon race. It's a tough challenge for the birds and a tense affair for the owners. Compared to Europe and the United States, Philippines encountered predators, people who shoot birds, fishing nets are set up in the mountains area and rice fields where the birds passes through. That's a major problem nowadays. Racing pigeons can be worth thousands of dollars but some that are kidnapped are sold off to unscrupulous fanciers for as little as $20 or 1,000 pesos or even lower. Most of the rest are picked off by hungry predator birds, felled by tropical heat and exhaustion or even the occasional typhoon in a competition that lasts at least 10 hours. Those that survive fly directly to their lofts in the Manila area. Their owners must then retrieve a code affixed to the pigeon's foot and text it into the club clocking systems or race organizers, which is how finishing order is determined. The three sea crossings in the MacArthur race, rather than poachers, are to blame for the 90% casualty rate, which is among the world's deadliest race. The pigeons fly low over water to avoid wind, and so many die when hit by waves or succumb to exhaustion. Fanciers claim they wait for their birds to return like worried parents. Some, fanciers said, it might take a few days, but they always come back unless they are caught by net. It takes more than luck for a fancier and a bird to win these races. Many a fancier focuses on the loft management and health of their pigeons, while some would rely on their pigeons' bloodline. While all these factors play in creating the ultimate athlete of the sky, it takes still a special balance and combination to make your pigeons outperform other pigeons. Developing the homing pigeon into a racing pigeon is not a simple task. There are many factors involved in creating these sky athletes. These include genetics and selective breeding, excellent loft management, proper nutrition and feed mixes, and training. But of all those mentioned, the most crucial is the fancier himself, because it is the fancier who has the responsibility to make sure that everything, from selective breeding to training, are done in highest standards. Thank you for watching. Until next time.